Hey bosses, it's Nina. So a few people have asked me how you invite co-hosts or co-presenters to your webinar jam so you can host your webinar. And so I'm gonna review the steps it takes to um, add an additional person. It's actually super duper easy. So sit back, relax, and watch the tutorial. Okay, so this time I did the quick, usually when I do a new webinar, um, and let me go back because you'll probably want to see this course. So if I do new webinar, before I was doing the full configuration, I usually start there and then clone it. This time I'm just going to do the express configuration. And what I'm going to do is put in the webinar name. So this is called Simple Software Selection for Small Businesses or something like that. And this is your internal name. I'm just going to copy and paste and put it down there. But first, let me just paste the email address. There we go. So what I usually do is I'll put what it is at the top. So like guest webinar, right? Simple software selection. Um, and then the whatever description, which I'll come back and do. And this is a good time to remind you that I do have a coupon if you are looking to try Webinar Jam. If you click the link below, it actually um, allows you to try it for 60 days for only a dollar. So use that link below. Um, I don't think it's something that's on their normal site. Anyways, I'm the presenter here, so this is me. Um, I'll probably change this image a little bit later. But for now, I'm just gonna click on the image, grab Trey's photo, type her name. And she is the host of the woman. I can't remember if it's woman to woman or women to wo woman to women. Okay, there's another person who has something about something to women. I want to make sure I wasn't confusing it. Okay, so creator uh, and host of the woman to woman show. I'm gonna click on add and that's basically it. I can add additional people. What I do want to um, point out is that right now I'm the owner and presenter. She's also a presenter. In this, in this webinar, she's actually only gonna be the moderator and so that's why I usually go to the full setup. Here it just adds additional people, but if I were to do the full webinar setup, I can change her to a, um, to a moderator. So I'm gonna show you that really quick. Okay, this time I'm gonna create a new webinar, and this time I'm gonna click on full configuration. And what's gonna happen is you're gonna get more options, but what I wanna show you is under webinar presenters, if I click on edit configuration, notice if I add Trey here, I can make her a moderator. So instead of just a presenter, um, she's a moderator and then it gives her you know, less to do and less buttons to get confused. So just wanted to show you that distinction. So if you do new and you do a, an express, it just adds the person, which is fine. You could do it that way. Um, or you can do a full configuration. And in that case, you could make them a moderator. One thing to bring out, like I know this isn't complete, so I don't know if it's gonna give me my links. Nope, so I'm gonna finish filling this out. Okay, and so since this was an express and they tell you it will only take 60 seconds, um, it only asks for the webinar schedule and then I can go to the web registration page. To finish this, you just add the webinar schedule and I added the schedule there and then you pick your template. Um, I just usually pick the one that has the most conversions. That's what this percentage rate, meaning that's the most people that, um, that's the percentage of people that opt in. And so the only thing is it's not in order. So you do have to kind of like scroll down and see that, but I'm just gonna go ahead and select this one. Okay, and that's fine for now. I'll come back and actually save this. For now, I'm just gonna save and exit and confirm and then the email alerts, which I'm just gonna confirm. Okay, so I'm gonna finish that up and that's it. That's the quick one. And so what you're gonna do is you're gonna grab your links. This is the part you don't wanna forget. So one is for the test webinar, which I don't usually do the test. Sorry, just being honest. And then there's the live webinar. And so I'm gonna grab the links because I want Trey to be able to have her dashboard as well which just reminded me I probably need to create a video on how to like co-host. But 
Now you'll see that this guest webinar, Simple Software Selection for Small Businesses, tongue twister, has a button that says your links. And so I'm going to click on your links, right? And down or at the top, you'll see you can invite people to the webinar. So anybody I that's already pre-subscribed, some people can actually check a box that says anytime Nina creates a new webinar, automatically just, you know, opt me in. But I'm not going to send it to them because that's not the audience. Um, but under invite people, this is your link to invite people. So I'm just going to copy this and do a quick note for her. Now, if you want to put it on your site, like a page, um, you can embed it on the site, which might be something that we do. So I'm actually going to snag this code also. Then there's the direct link to the live room. Um, I almost called this the living room. But anyways, each of these are just links. And if you click here, you can go to that live room. So these are all just for the um, people that you're inviting, right? Um, and one quick note about the live room. Don't usually, I don't usually give this out unless people just can't get in or they're having issues. You usually want them to register. This is bypassing the registration. So not something you want to use a lot. Um, here is where you have the presenters logins um, and links. So basically for me, this is my link and login and my control center. Um, the live room, it's weird to kind of explain, but the control center gives you more visibility into who's there, um, how long they've been there, you know, when they join, all of those details. Um, but the live room is like kind of how you're controlling the webinar. Just test it out. Um, like I said, there's a link to start for a dollar, so try it out. And you can do your test run, don't forget. Um, here, you'll see that um, this Trey has her own link and her own control center. And so I can actually send this link by email to her. And um, I should have actually waited because I want to give her instructions, but that's all right. Um, and then after the, the actual session, the date will be here and you can actually download this session after and put it wherever you need. Okay, if you want to learn more about Webinar Jam, I have a couple other videos that I have on this channel. I'll include them um, on the screen. You can go ahead and click them directly. And then also use my link below to head over to get your $1 for a 60-day trial of Webinar Jam. Ciao!